Hello everyone, this is Realize, and today I'm going to show off the new uh, 3DS hack that works in the latest firmware version through the Cubic Ninja entry point. So first off, what you want to do is you want to go to smelium.net uh, slash ninjahacks, and you'll want to go down and you'll want to go to How Do I Run Ninjahacks and download the Homebrew Launcher Executable. You can go ahead and download the Homebrew Starter Kit, which will have the boot.3dsx file, which will go on the root of your SD card, along with some Homebrew examples. Now you'll go down and you'll need to generate the QR code that is going to trigger the overflow um, to trigger the ROP chain used to load the boot.3dsx file off of your SD card. So you'll want to select, I have the old 3DS, so I'm going to select the old version, and I have 4.0. 4.10 US version. Okay, so there's the QR code that it generated. So next I have my 3DS turned on and I have a copy of Cubic Ninja right here. So I'm just going to pop that into the back of the card slot. And we're going to go ahead and load Cubic Ninja. So go to the boot screen, then we need to get to the whole menu. Okay, now we're going to go down to create. We're going to go down to QR code. And we're going to want to scan this QR code in. So we'll hold it up to where we have the QR code on the screen. And as soon as it scans, it should trigger the, the exploit. Okay. And there we go, Ninjax. Today's date. The date of the release in the website. I'm going to ask you if you want to go ahead and corrupt your save game so you don't have to scan the QR code every single time. You get yes or no. So I'll go ahead and install it on this cartridge. And now we'll go ahead and boot up into the homebrew launcher menu. So it has a really cool little wavy background, and you can press up and down on the d-pad and you can see those little uh, ripples in the sine wave function that is rendering that uh, there's the day's date, All right, the time up there, the battery life, if Wi-Fi is enabled or not you can press start and uh, that will ask you if you want to reboot to the home menu so we're just gonna sit here for a second and we're going to go over to this copy of Cubic Ninja it uh, already has the exploit loaded on it, so you can just press the E button and then go to create. And you can go to QR code. And as you can see, you don't have to scan the QR code every time if you save your game. Now if you want to, you can also hold uh, X plus Y plus left bumper plus right bumper in the uh, Cubic Ninja home menu and that will delete your save game. So, if they're all at the home relaunch menu, I'm going to start them all at once. Alright, I'm going to take my finger off and press all the buttons at the same time. Yes. Accidentally booted into FTP Pony on the middle one. And you've got this super awesome demo scene demo by Pluto.
So that pretty much demonstrates uh, the extent of this demo right now. Um, if you like what you see, go ahead and head over to Smee's website and install the exploit on your 3DS. And then come over to GBA Temp and hang out in the homebrew forums and hopefully we can develop some cool stuff together. Thanks guys, bye.